Danielle did not have to eat up Jen like this this episode, but we'll get into it all. It's your captain for all things creative coming at you with this Real Housewives of New Jersey season 14 episode 10 review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like and subscribe. We get into a lot of things here. And if you're returning, you know how we do. Thank you for just rocking with us and let's get into all the mess. So the episode opens up with like a recap of everything that went down since there was a break last week. But then the first new scene is Danielle having a little mini scene with her family and her daughter acting like a diva. And then you see a bigger scene with Joe and Melissa eating with Melissa's mom and talking about Melissa's upcoming fashion show and her mom dating some Italian man. And I'm so sorry, but I did not want to hear about Melissa and her mama talking about her golden year old poom poom. No, thank you. Then you see Dolores pressing Marge about what she was really saying about her and Polly, since Dolores wants to give Marge a chance to spill her own tea and tell the things that she said about Dolores to Dolores to her face, you know. And since Jackie is, you know, turning coat and about to spill the tea, I think Dolores would rather hear from Marge. So Marge admits that, yes, she may have said a few bad things in moments of rage, like... For example, she said bad things wouldn't keep happening to Delolo if she was still with David. And Delolo <laughs> is upset about it a little bit. And she admits in her confessional that Marge has a track record of talking too much mess. But overall, Marge is a good friend in Dolores' eyes. But she wants Marge to stop talking mess in front of the ops like Jackie. Danielle is then seen getting ready for um, Melissa's Envy fashion show. She says she's going to wear a dress that Melissa sent to her. Seems like Melissa sent clothes to her inner circle of ops, right? And then um, Danielle also says she was invited backstage. But she also knows that Tree isn't invited, even though everybody else is, including Jen, who she got beef with. So her husband asks how things are with Trey. And um, she tells him that Trey seemed to have Jen's back more than hers in the situation. And then the hubby and her talk about how they're going to act knowing that, you know, Jen will be at the show. And he tells her not to make faces like Ace Ventura and whatnot, you know. So then they also talk about their kids being on some Kids Bop music video. And I hate them Kids Bop video, especially the Outcast Sorry Miss Jackson Kids Bop video. Please look it up and... Tell me them kids about people don't need to find Jesus. Then um, Danielle asks her husband if he invited Danielle's dad to the kids pop gig. And he says that he don't think the dad is coming. Then when producers ask why can't Danielle ask her own dad to come and why, you know, the husband got to be the middleman. She starts talking about how she's too weak and husband defends her. But she needs to talk to her dad because if... You know, Jen is correct that she don't treat people right. The dad is just another example of this. If she's not treating her own family right, what is she doing to strangers? And, of course, if the dad passes, she's going to regret this time that she's not speaking to him. So she got to get that together. Then you see Melissa setting up for her fashion show. And then you see Jen calling Tree on the phone and showing Tree what she's going to wear to the fashion show. And then on the call, we find out that Tree is having her own podcast event next. And that um, Danielle told Tree that she's not coming, even though she was invited, because um, she has the kids about event like she was talking about earlier in the episode. So Jen is thanking her lucky stars that she don't have to be around Danielle two events in a row. But whew, they say when, you know, people make plans, God laugh, right? So then Danielle and Nate show up at the Envy show first since they have backstage access and Nate promises that them two will have behavior at the event, even though Danielle and Jen had gotten into it. Then we see Marge getting ready for the fashion show since Melissa also sent her clothes. And um, then you see Dolores getting ready. And she's expressing her concerns to Polly, you know, about her friend group being a mess with Jackie versus Marge and Jen versus Danielle still, you know, simmering before this event. Next important scene is Marge talking to Fessler about if she and Fuda made up yet. And Fessler says that she's tired of Fuda always being upset about something. 
And then um, Marge tries to have Fuda's back and says that maybe Fuda's tired of being defensive all the time, even though Fuda's ain't nobody's victim, you know. And then uh, Fessa rightly says that she's not the one making them be on the defensive, so they only have too many more times to play in her face. Next, you see Marge and Jackie have a scene where they argue about who and who was mean and condescending first, and then... You know, Marge knows exactly how to get under Jackie's skin because she basically, you know, makes Jackie feel left out by asking her if she's wearing envy clothes, knowing that, you know, Melissa don't see it for Jackie either. So she probably didn't get the clothes and Jackie says no. And then Marge's like, oh, well, you know, Melissa sent all of us clothes. So again, she knows Jackie has a thing about being left out and she did this on purpose, right? So then you see the guys having a scene talking about how Frank isn't engaged yet because his dog died and I'm so sorry, but we didn't need that scene and I'm tired of seeing the men too much since there's plenty of beef between Marge and Jackie and between Danielle and Jen and then Fuda and Fester's mess. So this show needs to get back to focusing more on the housewives that we came to see because the men are part of the reason why this show is like derailed, especially like Mr. Fuda, right? Then a bunch of the women gag at the Lolo's tan and her purse but then Jackie is seen having a mini meltdown over what Marge had told her about Melissa gifting envy clothes to everybody else except her. And then Dolores tries to talk her down the ledge while Jen says that Marge said it to be mean, which is true. And then uh, Delola kind of says that she's sick of the petty mess right before Marge walks over with more petty mess. Child. So then Marge pretends to comfort Jackie. Sorry, prefers to comfort Jen. And uh, Jen... Basically calls her out and say, well, even though Marge is being nice, she never called to check on her before. But Jen says that Marge still looks cute. And then Jen thanks Fuda actually for checking in on her, which was a surprise to me because she was talking mad mess about Jen to Danielle. So I was surprised because I knew Fuda was thirsty, but I didn't know she was being fake behind the scene like that, you know. So then Jen is messy and says that Melissa only has female models at this show since word on the street was that she had cheated on Joe with a male model in an old Envy show. And I could kind of see Joe going bad in male models from the Envy show, but it's still alleged if Melissa had cheated or not, right? But Jen is messy for sure for bringing that up. And then next you see Tree's podcast event, which is the big event of the episode where the stuff really goes down. She says that she calls her podcast partner the good Melissa because she's not the evil biatch that her brother married and I fell out because she is not playing with <laughs> her, you know, people that she's not getting along with. Next, we see Danielle and her kids at the Kids Bop event before we get back to Tree's event where Jackie and Fessler show up to show support along with Jen Aiden, right? So then... um. Tree says she's going through a lot, and Jen Aiden co-signs that, you know, every time she talks to her, her stomach is in knots, and her guts is bubbling, everything. Next, um, Polly and Delolo come into the event. Delolo says the event space feels like a church to her, and Tree says that it should feel spiritual since she has gotten back right with God, because truth be told, she was a little angry at God for how everything went down with her husband doing all the mortgage fraud, and she having to go to jail and missing her, you know, Parents dying, all kind of things like that, right? So then um, her daughters arrive and the vibes are good. And then Danielle goes and gags everybody by making a surprise arrival since even though she said she couldn't come in her confessional, she said the kids' bop event ended early. So she basically hightailed it from where the kids' bop event was to where Tree's event is, which is in Atlantic City, which is very fun. Ooh, so... Drama goes off, man. Jen gets to talking about Danielle as Danielle walks by. And Danielle's shaking her head and calling Jen disgusting to her husband. And I thought they're about to turn Tree's church space into a boxing ring. But I guess Danielle decided to take the high road for that moment. So then Tree reads from her diary and then they take a 10-minute break. And we see Dorinda, of all people, from Roni. And lots of other people supporting Tree, who goes and checks in with the ladies backstage in like this back room where the mess really goes down. While we're in this little back room, Danielle is the first to break the peace 
by saying that she is surprised that Tree's church space didn't burn down with Jen Deere, which gags everyone. So Tree then offers to help fix Jen and Danielle's friendship, but Jen shuts that offer down so fast before Danielle basically gets up and then tells Jen that she looks like Boo Boo, which made me holler a little because it came out of nowhere. So that was the petty moment that set Jen all the way off because as Danielle is going for the door before she could close it, Jen gets to tell Danielle that she looks terrible and clown coated herself. And if I had to judge, I think they both looked a little basic, but Jen kept it more simple and a little more classy in the black, you know, top while Danielle had on what looked like Joseph's coat of many colors with glitter on it, which was a little more tacky, but that's neither here nor there. So after Danielle leaves, after gagging Jen, we see Jen getting loud with everybody about everybody letting Danielle treat her any kind of way. And Jen kind of yells in Teresa's face about how, you know, she doesn't believe that Tree would want her to make up with that trash box. And then Delolo gets protective over Tree and tells Jen that she's not going to be yelling in her French face like that. So then she starts yelling at Jen and getting between her and Tree. And you can see that no matter how neutral Delolo usually is, she's going to have Teresa's back first and foremost to the end. So as Dolores keeps, you know, checking Jen... Fesser says, and scene, because she does not do too well with the bucking and the yelling. So Fesser leaves, and Jackie follows behind her. And as they dip out of the room, we see the three main girls who are actual friends have a moment. And then Tree reassures Jen that, all right, she's going to stop. She's not going to try to get Jen and Danielle to make up again. And then the Lolo tells Jen that you know she's a big girl who can handle herself around Danielle but then Jen starts breaking down and says actually I don't know if I can handle myself around Danielle because um Jen she's like tearing up but don't look like emotional tears it does look like tears of anger and she says she low-key wants to lay hands on that fool Danielle every time she sees her so she's not talking about hands of prayer and it's up and stuck between Jen and Danielle. So you know that the next few episodes are going to still be dramatic with them. So Jen is spiraling. And you can see next episode preview. You know that she wants more loyalty from Tree. Even as she goes to Fuda's event. And Kiki's with Melissa and them too. So we shall see how it all shakes down. The end of the episode was the best part. And I got to give it to Danielle for bringing the drama. So say how you feel in the comments and remember you are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul. Bye.